Alright guys and gals, here's situation. Uh, ran part of the line in the work truck. Didn't have a weapon or my camera with me. So, um, we had three raccoon and I'll show you footage of those, uh, two of those. One of those I went ahead and pulled the trap. And uh, we had a bobcat, so we're going to head to that first. So, let's go check that out. Well, here it is guys. First cat of the year in a blind set on a coon trail. Let's check it out, see how it's caught well, it's not going anywhere. Give you guys a little zoomed in. Not super nice, just a young mostly like a rabbit back. It looks well, it's decent spots, but not a big cat, but we're sure glad to have it. First one of the year. We got another raccoon on this trail, guys, in the 220. It stands right there. Coon's right there. Here we uh, got a raccoon in a blind set. Woo! Almost took a fat man tumble. Those aren't fun. So, anyways, let's get this guy taken care of. Alright guys, and here's, uh, that'd be our fourth raccoon today, and one cat. Alright guys, so we're checking in the dark, uh, that's raccoon number five and a bobcat so far today. Uh, just another one by a DP. I knew I had a DP at this culvert, I looked over the edge and I couldn't see it, I thought, well, maybe I put it in the ground too close. And I seen the extended chain. It's a nice one. That's raccoon number, what is that, six? Yep, six and a bobcat. We're checking after work at dark. All right, guys. Been a really slow check day, which is good because we're pulling. But I am really excited to see a nice skunk in a blind set right there. That's skunk number five this season. Glad to have him. Let's keep rolling. And this is uh, either the second or third raccoon we've taken on blind sets coming off that tree to corn. We're pulling a bunch today and we'll be kind of hopscotching to another area. So excited about that. It's going to be a real nice mixed line, but uh, at least we pulled a pair or three off this. Sorry about the lighting here, guys. We'll get down a little closer. Got one in dog proof underneath the cedar. Uh, there's a brush pile and corn back there. So, another one on the truck. It's raccoon number two today and one skunk. All right, guys. Uh, and here's just another raccoon in a dog proof. This one was headed across to drive shortcut into the cornfield. And I think this is our second or third one here. So, well, let's take care of it. Look at this, guys. Got another skunk in this blind set along the edge of a field. Whoop, sorry, backed you out a little quick. Good spot, but I'm stunned we keep catching skunks here. Because the other side of the road doesn't even have a terrace. It's just a old cut bean field. So, but uh, this side makes sense, but I don't know where they're headed to. Clearly something I don't know, but pretty happy to have another skunk. And here's raccoon number four today. So four coon and two skunks. We'll get this one dispatched and get these traps full. Well guys, we set up this nuisance job for otter. Um, but, you know, here in Iowa, there's a lot of raccoon. There's number one. There's number two. Let's go down here further. There's where I left my hammer the other day. There's number three. Three raccoons, so we'll get these coon off the, uh, out of these traps and get them all reset. 
All right, guys, first location of the day is coming under a uh, duck under netted fencing. Um, we had a 220 sit on this trail. I think we're going to go ahead and maybe we've weaned out some of the smaller stuff, so we'll probably pop in a one and a half, see if we can't snag something cooler here like a cat or a coyote. But first catch of the day. All right, guys, so a buddy of mine uh, messaged me. Uh, and asked me what to do to get deeper catches with these one and a half blind sets. Now we've made multiple catches on this trail, but I, I still for this video, I figure I could show you guys real quick. I just take either like a back of an ax or I take a sod buster and I pound a little spot real quick. Then I set my blind set foothold and I put a little grass flakes over it. I'll show you how it looks here in just a second. All right, guys, I know you can't see the set. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. Here's the here's the trail, right? And mind you, we've caught a lot here. Here's the set. Now, essentially, what this is doing now, it's a blind set, but it's acting kind of like a step down. They have to plant a foot here to step over this, this dip. Or, you know, whether it be a front or a rear foot, they have to step down and push off right there where that pan's at. So that's a quick tip that'll help you get deeper catches with a one and a half. Story of the day so far on the small trap line. Um, but uh, we'll keep moving. I'm gonna talk about this one real quick in just a sec though. All right guys, so where we caught this possum, like I said, nothing special here, but you know, we can make our, uh, we can make our own rules out here. You know, there's no guidebook you have to follow by. Um, you know, several years ago, a good friend of mine, um, a local trapper, told me, he said, see what they know and what they don't know and what works and what doesn't work. He said, there's no book that you have to follow. So, anyways, this log here, I put some caster in that hole. Um, that's a dry creek bed and a one and a half. And uh, I think that'll catch something special i don't know for sure you know it could be a mink could be a raccoon but whatever it comes through there i'd feel would be inclined to check out that hole in that log so we make our own rules out here just some food for thought all right guys this is one of my favorite spots to set up i can't usually catch coyotes and cats here every year you see i got a one and a half blind set put in right there uh one of the biggest coyotes i ever caught was at this spot and if I zoom in there a little bit right there on that barbed wire fence you can see that hair that's coyote hair so uh, but this year they did something different at this spot there's a split and there's another trail down there it's very subtle but clearly they're crossing at two spots this year so we'll double up on them well, guys and gals, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys hang with me for the next video as we uh, approach one of the most intense trap lines and seasons I've ran yet. Appreciate you all watching. Tight chains.